Hello and welcome to another episode of Tours and Tactics. Today we'll be assaulting a supply camp. This was an attempt to take a supply camp with originally two, but we picked up a friend along the way. This is in the red water of the lowlands. I believe we have toured this before. This is in a different game than what I've been touring in the other videos. This was on a Saturday, I believe, when I did the tours on a Sunday. In the beta weekend events, they were swapping out world versus world every day. I'm still planning a video that's going to talk about some of my concerns in that regards. But for now, just know that, for the purposes of this game, green are the bad guys, and actually this time, we're red. So as you can see, the Redwater Lowlands are right by Red Lake, which I believe we've assaulted before. It's pretty much a standard supply camp. Now you'll notice where we're standing right here. In the video to come, we're going to be setting up a siege weapon. And we're going to resume the video now. I wanted to see if we could even the numbers against the bad guys with a siege weapon. I did not have much experience with siege weapons at this time. I did not really do all of the siege weapon informations until the next day. The weapon we choose is the arrow cart. It is, as we demonstrated, primarily for AoE. We're going to build it. It only takes... 30 supply, but it's good for AoE. Now, as you see, we're trying to target the guards. The thing about the situation at the time was that even though you can clearly see it's in range, it won't hit them unless they're in combat. At least it didn't in Beta Weekend Event 2. Yeah, so that caused slight problem for our plan. So instead... We're going to improvise a little bit. Once we realize that the arrows don't reach them. Or they do reach them, they just don't damage them. They do a little dance back and forth. There we go. That's the wonderful arrow cart noise. As you can see, it's not effective in the slightest, and our comrade-in-arms there tells us that they're invulnerable. Which we believe meant that they weren't in combat and therefore could not be targeted. So instead, I had him direct the fire to this area down here. Because our plan, at least the thing I was thinking of at the time, was that we were going to single-target them. And basically pull them as few as we could, and just target them down as we went, with the arrow cart providing fire. Now, in retrospect, you can see I sped up the combat, because it's a lot of uneven back and forth. The arrow cart, being AoE, was not effective for our purposes. So, looking back in retrospect, especially now that I've used the other siege weapons, for something like this, the ballista would probably be a better option. It does a lot more damage to single target, and as you can tell, we're doing a lot more focus fire on the single targets. And pew 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 pew, firing more. And here's where things start to get a little dangerous. I start to head forward to try to get more bad guys. I inadvertently pull more. You'll see in a little bit, whenever it reaches more points of the attack on the supply camp, that we inch a little too far forward, or at least I do, I'll, I'll take responsibility for it. I was with my friend Griffin here at the time. He is the elementalist with the mighty fine beard. Using my boons and buffs. And we're just trying to focus fire the guys down. Now our problem also might have been because we weren't really focusing them down all that much. But those melee guard guys can pack a bit of a wallop. So as we're taking them down, this is where I start to get a little on the greedy side. Start just pulling more. As you can tell, the arrow cart is doing some damage. I mean, obviously it's doing better than what would have been without the arrow cart. But 
still not all that effective. So I'm going to fast forward it a bit to where I really get greedy. This is where I inched too far forward and started just getting way too close. And as you can see, we got another friend picked up. This is my first time knocked down, and boy, Griff actually stayed and tried to raise me. Actually, he ends up succeeding. But we just don't have the firepower to take all the guards at once. Especially with our health as low as it is and our health healing on cooldown. We're going to fast forward a bit more to where I go in one last time and attempt to burn them all down. But I end up dying. The thing you'll realize in trying to plan attacks like this, especially with a low level, as I've emphasized before, being low level in world versus world is a disadvantage. A significant one. You're still using raised stats. So you're not exactly a level 20 running, running around a level 80 zone. But you're still at a disadvantage. And I'm dead. So we're going to kind of fade into the next area as everyone pulls back because it's a failed attack. So you have to coordinate a lot better. And you have to focus fire a lot more. So this is our second attempt, but without the arrow cart, because after they killed us all, they destroyed the arrow cart. And we do about the same here, basically. Now that we've got an additional friend, who never accepted my group invite, which is kind of disappointing. We continue to whittle them down one by one, to no avail. This was the point when I decided that we really couldn't take this with our power numbers. The guards are a hell of a hard to take down, and they were upgrading like crazy. So this was when I decided to start just kind of withdrawing, and we're going to decide to hit the pack Dolyax. Which, as one of the comments posted on one of the other videos said, that's what they did when they were overpowered. They sat back and attacked pack Dolyax, which starved Stone Mist Keep, of resources, which helped them claim it. Never underestimate the power of supply interdiction. But here, as we get ready to withdraw, we notice another group of three. Four, as it were. Attacking. So here's something I tried and might be something valid. Whenever you've got a group of lower level characters in here, you can see it's pretty much better to just kind of focus fire. So, if you're in a group of people, and maybe you're not in the exact same group, but you're all around, call out targets. Why not? The worst that's going to happen is they don't take it. But if you see a particularly dangerous target, then call it out. People will possibly agree and target it too. And then you've got more damage going up against that single target. Endgame is still a question mark. How powerful characters will be in World vs. World at the end. It's something I'd really like to try, but I haven't been able to. So it will remain to be seen if once you're max level, if small groups attacking supply camps will be viable. At lower levels, it doesn't seem to be. Now there's exceptions to every rule. This series is not about concrete solutions to everything. It's about exploring options and coming up with possible solutions and ideas to try out. If they work, great. If they don't, it helps you learn something. What I learned here, probably the most important lesson is picking the right tools. The arrow cart was not the right tool. The ballista would have been the right tool. We did not have the ballista, so that hurt us. The second lesson is be careful when you're low beats in World vs. World, which is kind of an understatement, but you do want to be careful. 
So if you're not entirely sure about taking something, you don't want to run around the Zerg, stand outside of supply camps and take out the Dolyaks. You actually get item drops from the Dolyaks, believe it or not. I was reading a couple of things about people getting siege weapon blueprints from taking out Dolyaks. So there's a reward in that too. There's also minor missions, so you get rewards from that. That is the one bonus to various aspects of World vs. World and Guild Wars 2, is that there are different rewards for different things that you can do. Well, that is our attempt to take the supply camp, which ended up succeeding with the help of friends. So, until then, my friends, game on, and take care.